Welcome back to another episode of the Grizzly News. Hello, I'm Annalie Baltimore. And I'm Ryan Nacino. And welcome back to another edition of the Grizzly News. On this segment, we will talk about homecoming updates, spirit days, and we will also have a weather update with Henry. We will also include a sports update, student lanyards, and of course, a cookie review with Ben. Student lanyards have been passed out to every student divided by grade according to the color. Don't forget to wear them around your neck and not on your bag. This is very important. Students, if you are caught without your lanyard, first offense is a verbal warning. Second is a detention. Third and each offense after that is determined by the administration. Let's take responsibility and keep FCHS safe in a fun environment for all staff and students. Homecoming is this Saturday starting at 8 p.m. in the cafeteria. The theme for the dance is Disney, so make sure you wear your best attire and don't forget to have fun. Students, if you want to save money on your HOKO ticket and put it towards a nice dinner before or after the dance, make sure you buy your tickets this week for $5 during your lunch period. If you don't buy them now, they will be sold at the door for 10 so make sure you buy them now. Spirit Days have been taking the school by storm. Today is old versus young. Tomorrow is country versus rock, so make sure you pick a side and dress up. Friday Spirit Day is Franklin gear, so make sure you show your school spirit. Also, the theme for the game this Friday is blackout, so make sure you wear absolutely no color. With the Spirit Days, did you know that the teachers are competing? How do you feel about the teacher costume contest? I enjoy it. It's a good time. I love the teacher costume contest. It's finna to be lit, man. Uh, personally, I think it is hilarious. Um, I am currently following said Instagram page. It's a good time. Which department do you think has the best chance of winning? That'd be the science department by a landslide. Um, I think science has the best chance of winning because we're the best. Social studies, of course, but special ed is coming on strong. Probably the math department or the science department. We hear the math department wins a lot. You think it's rigged? Yes, I do. I think the math department is trying to uh, uh, rig the contest. Hmm. I wouldn't put it past them. Yeah, it's all rigged. It's time to check in with Maddie and Delaney to see what they are up to in the sports corner. Hi, I'm Maddie. And I'm Delaney. Girls Volleyball played Morrisville on Tuesday night and won in three sets. They will play Shelbyville at home on Thursday night. Boys Soccer played Bloomington North on Tuesday night and lost 3-2. to two, And will play Morrisville at home on Thursday night. Make sure to come out and support. Girls Golf finished runner-up in sectionals on Monday and will advance to regionals on Saturday. Good luck, Lady Cubs. Girls Soccer played New Pal on Monday night and lost 2-0. Tonight they will play Mooresville at home. Make sure to come out and support. Last Friday, the football team traveled to Martinsville and won 62-39 to and moved to 5-0. and This Friday, the football team will play Mooresville. The theme for this Friday night is blackout. Make sure to come out and support. Now let's take a look at our weather with Henry. Thank you, guys. The weather for the rest of the week, we have highs in the high 70s and low 80s with AM showers tomorrow. The weekend will be hotter with highs in the mid-80s with a chance of rain on Sunday. The hotter weather will be continuing into next week with highs in the high 80s. Now to Lee and Ryan at the desk to talk about our next segments. As you heard in the sports corner, the football team has been doing really well. Quarterback Drew Byerly has been nominated for the Indy Star Athlete of the Week. The football voting ended today. However, the overall athlete vote ends at noon on Friday. Make sure you get online and vote for Drew. Yeah, it's really cool to be nominated and all, but uh, it's obviously a team sport, and I appreciate everyone that's voted for me and looking for another great game Friday. And let's make sure we make this week's student section at the game the loudest and strongest one yet. Let's make this one memorable. Anthony Calhoun will be making an appearance at Friday night's game, so let's make sure to be loud because we want to bring that banner back home. What's up, FCHS? It's me. Yeah. 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 
Hi. We're Cookie what? Review. And now, with my special guest, Maddie Durst. Yeah! 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 What? Okay. Today, we're going to be reviewing a new cookie, guys. Bring it out here. Yes. All right. Since I have no idea about this cookie, I'm going to let my guest explain it while I review it. This cookie is chocolate chip, and I got it from Mrs. Goad, the attendance lady, while I was aiding during second period. And I would like to note that it is not fresh. Uh, it was made yesterday, and there were leftovers today, so I was like, I want some cookies, and I just decided to take some more. Pretty good, not gonna lie. Homemade, day old. Good combination, I'd say. Ugh. I give this cookie a 9.2 out of 10 cookies. Good job, dude. Thanks, Ben and Maddie, for that savory cookie review. Well, that wraps it up for us with, on this segment of the Grizzly News. I'm Annalie Baltimore. And I'm Ryan Racino. And have a good rest of your day here at FCHS.